Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne, and today I'm finally going to be able to cover the Cherry MX Switch Guide Part 2. Today, I'll feature the MX Black with the Ducky Shine 3, the MX Clear with the Cool ES87, and the MX Green with the CM Storm Quick Fire TK. If you want to see a full review of the Ducky Shine 3 keyboard right here, be sure to check the link below. Trust me, the light show is worth seeing. <laughs> Alrighty, now on to a little bit about the MX Black switches. They were introduced in 1984, which makes them one of the older Cherry switches. And um, also, they aren't ideal for typing due to their high weighting. I'll get into that when we take a closer look at the switch. But they have found use in RTS video games where the high weighting can help prevent accidental key presses that might occur. Anyway, um, and they have a stronger spring, so that means it rebounds faster and can be um, actuated quite quickly with enough force, but you might find it exhausting typing on it over time if you don't get used to it. I find it, found it kind of tiring, as I believe 50 gram actuation force is like my ideal. Here's a closer look at the Cherry MX Black switches, and just by pressing down on them, I can already feel the resistance, but there is no bump. So um, like the Cherry MX Reds, they are linear. That means they go straight up and down. And they have an actuation force of 60 centinewtons or around 60 grams. Um, if you wanted to know the conversion rate, they're very similar. For a full review on the Cool ES87 keyboards, be sure to click the link below. But first, a little bit about the MX Clear switches. It made its first appearance in 1989, and Cherry wanted to differentiate it from the MX White switches by calling it MX Clear, but it really looks like a white switch underneath. Anyway, um, and the MX White switch is more of a clicky switch, uh, whereas this one is uh, just tactile, non-clicky. and. Uh, some people dislike the stiffness of the uh, switch. It, it's kind of like, uh, it's about as stiff as the uh, MX Blacks. And what they do is they'll replace the springs with lighter springs so it keeps the large tactile bump, but um, it's not as heavy. Now, uh, the theory is, for, for fans of the MX Clears, the high resistance of the switch helps you to stop bottoming out, and then it's actually more beneficial for your fingers in the long run. Here's a closer look at the Cherry MX Clear switches. And basically they are a stiffer version of the brown switches but with a more pronounced tactile bump and it is non-clicky. And the bump is felt before the activation point. I've actually seen it uh, come in at 65 gram actuation or 55 gram. This is 55, therefore it feels a little less than the MX Blacks but usually the, res the resistance should be a little more than the MX Blacks. I lit up the Quickfire TK green switch keyboard because I showed you the blue LEDs for the MX Blue version that I did for the uh, review and you can check that out in the link below. And I just wanted to show you what the green looks like. And it's pretty awesome, especially with the back plate beneath the keys, it really makes the color pop. Alrighty, now a little bit about uh, the MX Green switches. Originally, they were meant for space bars. Like, let's say you'd have an MX Blue keyboard, uh, the MX Green switch would be the space bar switch. But I guess it grew in popularity, so that's why. Also, um, uh, since this is a very stiff switch, I believe uh, well, the stiffest, maybe, of all the Cherry switches, there's a lot of resistance, so you really need to get used to it. But I do love that satisfying click sound. Here's a closer look at the green switches with the LEDs above them turned on, but we are going to turn them off so it's not quite as uh, distracting. So this is what they look like, the colors, and you also see the green back plate beneath it. Very cool. Um, and a little bit about these switches is that these are a stiffer version of the blue switches, so you get that tactile bump and you hear that click. And it's weighted in at 80 centinewtons or 80 grams. And that is a lot of resistance, folk. It feels similar to a buckling spring, which is about 90 centinewtons uh, force to actuate. And you will feel the bump and hear the click that occurs when the activation point is hit. And now for a sound test, because I'm pretty sure you're curious about how they sound next to each other. So these are the MX Blacks. And then these are the MX Clears and the MX Greens. Oh, that is satisfying. I know some people who love MX Greens, but um, I just want to say that like 
Also, you need to be, uh, keep in mind the construction of the board. Sometimes they are louder, clackier because of uh, maybe the steel plate underneath it or just the construction of the plastic. But uh, that covers the sound test. That wraps up the Cherry MX Guide Part 2 featuring the MX Black, the MX Clear, and MX Green. I hope you enjoyed it, found it interesting, uh, entertaining, all that good stuff. So if you like what you saw and you want to see more, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and comment button because I love to hear what you have to say to me. Also, be sure to follow me on social media, join Tech Lover Facebook fan page, join Food Lover Twitter, and twitch.tv slash whaletune where I game stream with Tim weekly. Also, please donate so you can help expand this channel so that I can bring more of what you want to see in terms of tech. And one more thing is that please check out my store, MV Store, where you can buy my 8.5 by 11 inch autograph prints. So I guess all that's left to say is, Mwah! see you next time.